What's good, YouTube? Welcome to another video back on the channel, man. Y'all see how we coming? You see how we vibed out? You know what I'm saying? I haven't done a little sit down video in a minute, so this is very refreshing, if you will. And we got a special guest. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. Do your thing, do your whoop. Hey, I'm Mark. I'm gonna be rating your video. Rating? <laughs> I'm gonna be rating your fit pics today with this guy. Damn, why I just get black as hell like that? Y'all know me and Jada, you know what I'm saying? That's my twin for real, so we gonna rate her fit first, you know what I'm saying? She on some like Tyler the Creator vibes. She got the top hat on that's all red. She go uh, olive, I wanna say that's like a quilted bomber, quilted zip up. She said she thrifted this entire fit, by the way. I think that the only thing she bought was the shoes. The footwear we got going on here is kinda nice. I'm somewhere between really liking the hat and really not liking the hat. I don't really know where I, yeah. where I stand on that. I feel like Tyler the Creator core is slick trendy right now. Everyone wants to dress like Tyler of the creator. Jetty, you my twin, but I'm gonna give you... 8 out of 10. I think it's solid. 8 out of 10. I think it's fair. I was, I was somewhere between a 7 and an 8. Uh, we Why did that just sound like a chug jug? These jeans are just an absolute abomination right here. <laughs> like, these are, like, they're just... Man, you could at least iron your jeans or steam them, threw them in a the dryer, did something, like... Well, I mean, they're gonna wrinkle right back up when you, they're already, like, <laughs> fucking, like, four inches too long and you're sagging them, so it's, like, now they're, like, fucking ten inches too long. Stupid, I feel like... And the, the shoelace belt, like, I don't know why, it's, like, every fucking two months we go between saying that the shoe belt, the shoelace belt is corny and the shoelace belt is cool. Yeah. I just think it's fucking stupid. How like, do you feel <laughs> about people using other things other than, like, because I know, if, I don't know if you know the rapper Richard but he used the HDMI cord. <laughs> I feel like I do remember seeing that, but. He used the HDMI cord. I know some folks at Georgia State use like uh, earbuds. Just like, just fucking use a belt. Like y'all are acting like you don't have a belt. It's creativity, man. Like. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna give the fit a five. The blue, be honest, the blues are slit hitting off each other. The white from the gradient of the logo matches the forces. Only thing that's offsetting the fit is the gray hoodie, which is a, 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 a good offset. I just think that the pants fit so like, Man, it also doesn't help that it's just not a good photo either. Like you're yeah, just, the Fit Pit does suck. What is he in a bait like? It just looks like he's in, in like a very unclean room <laughs> with uh, I don't an know. ironing board, a couch. This looks like just a vacant room in your in your crib that you just throw random shit in. I'm just gonna like put it at like a four also. Key go AirPod Maxes, you gotta throw those in as an accessory. <laughs> True Religion Dad kept this distress, that's his number one. He has a Veil Lives flannel with the webbing on it, uh, a Polar Fleece, a Leaks backpack, and then for the denim, I'm not sure what it is, but it's like some typical streetwear distressed denim, and then he go butters, big Timmy Tim Tim's, man, do your homework on that, so. Yeah, I want to hear your takes first. I don't want to be like a complete dickhead because it's like I don't really wear too much streetwear these days and I don't want to be yeah. like anti all streetwear. I was talking to Cash about this yesterday. But I just feel like in general, the stuff could all fit a little bit better. I don't hate it, but I feel like there's so much going on with the flannel that like the jeans needed to be plain or vice versa. It's just like too much. People want to act like you can just throw on Tim's with any outfit and it looks good, but I feel like a different shoe would have been better for this. Like even if the Tim's were black, I think it would look better. I don't know. It doesn't look bad in my eyes. Like lately, that's slick what I've been on is just like not on some just throwing on anything but more so just being more experimental and wild with my style so I can kind of see where he's coming from on this but it's better than the last two but yeah, that's I don't know if that say. says this, too much <laughs> I was literally about to say but I do feel like this is one of the best fits we've seen yet so well I mean he's only he's only really uh competing with the girl that's real. And her yeah. fit was better. I'm gonna give him a 7.5. I give it like a five and a half. Better than the last two, but it's not like, there's not really like a crazy statement being made. He's just wearing a lot of statement pieces, yeah. but there's no real statement that's being made. He is wearing an older Supreme tee. I, I was actually into Supreme when that tee came out. Um, so I do remember that one. I don't know if I actually had it. We have like a brown cardigan, some green pants, some docks. Yeah, what do you think? Let me see. I don't really have too much to say about it. It, it gives like every piece is thrifted, but the Supreme shirt and you just worked around that maybe. See, I I almost think this is the opposite of the last one we did. Like, the last one, every piece was a statement piece and it was like too much. This one, I feel like there isn't a statement piece and it's not enough. But I think the clothes seemingly fit him better, but he's also sitting down, so you can't really like know. Yeah, and not even on no dick riding glazing shit, I do feel like he has more longevity with personal style than the other guy. Yeah, the other guy, like, it all looked like new stuff that he just like, you know, like bought a bunch of like random bullshit streetwear brands. And yeah. then this one looks like he actually like, thrifted some of it, maybe had some of those pieces for a while. I don't know, not too much to say about it. It's a solid fit. I'm gonna give it a, she 6.5. I gave the last one a five and a half. I think I would give this one like a six. Somebody said, this is probably my favorite fit from last year and it's currently loading right now. So if this is your favorite foot, 
he said this is his favorite fit from last year. We might as well just get into it. So for the shoes, we gonna start with that. He go Balenciaga Troopers. Isn't that what they call it? The uh, square like. They look a little too clean. I feel like you know usually... these might be towel bag. Oh, <laughs> these might be food. Mm. I ain't gonna hold it. Usually they get a little scuffed pretty quick unless you're wearing them for the first time. And then for the pants, we was just talking about this. This sort of gives like that endless V long vibe. I'm not a. I like the distressing on it, but if it was cut a little bit better, like I don't know, maybe have like a boot cut. This I just feel like this silhouette of the denim is like they look like weird fast fashion balenciaga type of vibe almost yeah i can give you your props for accessorizing though all like, seriousness, he is making this like, complete yeah no all seriousness i actually think that this might be the best male fit so far i mean who is he really competing with you know the last one like there wasn't too much going on the one before that there was too much going on i actually think he kind of lives somewhere in the middle personally i don't think this is the best fit i like the one where the guy was wearing tim's flannel i would choose that fit over this but i can say this is the most like authentic fit i would probably give it like I give it like a seven, just to be nice. You know, I was gonna say six and a half, I'm gonna give it a seven. Y'all done got Mark being <laughs> overly nice today. Like, what the hell, man? Mark's not trying to read the comments and get his ass cooked. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give Twin. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna give you a seven, too. I'm gonna give you a seven. This is very, very basic. I mean, like, there's not necessarily anything wrong with that, but like, it's a jacket, jeans. It looks yeah. very 2020, 2021, something like that. It's nice that he threw the accessories on there. I think that's like a Givenchy chain pendant lock. <laughs> It's like gigantic, you know what I mean? It doesn't really fit the vibe. Like, it's, you're going like the vintage <laughs> aesthetic, and then you have Ramones and a ginormous ass chain. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the only uh, flaw with this fit is the denim. Big blow on the knees is a bad look. I kind of hate the wash. Like, I, I not to be like picky, <laughs> but I like I feel like the wash is just not doing anything for me. I'm gonna go. I'm five. just gonna. Yeah, I think just clean in the middle five. So next up, we got my twin Victoria. Um, now she actually DM me and said that she wanted me to rate her fit. So you know I gotta come through for the homie, man. So look, she sent two fits. First fit she's wearing like a canadian tuxedo denim on denim that she threw on a plaid skirt i'm not sure what the vintage tee says it got a puppy on there what are these called like the cowboy boots with the metal yeah, it's like some western boots and yeah yeah this little, is cool little metal toe yeah no this is definitely the women are shitting on the men right now That's like real. significantly which i'm not surprised about that usually is the case when it comes to this you know yeah. Fashion shit, I guess. I do feel like women get more leeway when it comes to men in the fashion scene. Like they have more, they have more variety. Like they have more options to select from. If you go to a women's store, and I mean, if you go to a women's section and then compare it to the men's section, bro, we get like, of course, bottoms, tops, sweaters, but they get so many intricate cuts and just. Well, that's the thing too. I feel like men are more into like the pieces and women are more into like the style. Women, I feel like will be the types to mix basically anything as long as they like the style of it whereas yeah. men it's like oh like the backpack has to be a leaks the top has to be vintage and the jeans have to be diesel yeah. you know what i mean you're basically saying with guys it's like a lot of like ego driven yeah it makes yeah, it yeah, essentially yeah, <laughs> but okay back to the fit damn i'm black as shit you gotta tap on me uh long story short this is a clean outfit you know i think it's yeah. definitely one of the better ones i think even in terms of the first outfit we rated i think this one is definitely more like unique this is probably the most unique outfit that we've seen so far i would say this is like I'm gonna give it like an eight. Yeah, eight and a half, nine. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. I'm gonna go nine. And then the second fit, we can run through this super quick. She go black puffer. She go red track jacket. I go lie. The puffer track jacket mix is kind of crazy. Yeah, something else that like both of these fits have in common is that she does like the top button and like lets it kind of like flow. And yeah. I feel like that's something that like, again, most Victoria guys, hard. <laughs> most guys just put on the jacket and they either zip it or they don't. But it's like you can kind of play around with like little things like that which, you know, changed the outfit. I like this one better, I think, like, personally, but I think they're kind of on the same level. I'm gonna say that one's, like, an eight and a half as well, though. Victoria, are you watching this? I'm giving you two nines. What's up? <laughs> Bro, I'm giving you two nines. All right, so this is my twin. His name JB Penny. He actually goes to GSU, so he said for the fit rating video, I mean, he slicked me on some, like, Gweedy vibes. Wait. Do we already rate this? No, we did not rate this yet, no. In the per previous ones, we never rated this? Oh, I don't know, maybe. Wait. It's a clean fit, but like I've seen this fit before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. this is definitely like unsound rags, Fernando core, Ticido core. So <laughs> you could have done more with this fit just because I feel like the all black silhouette, yeah, we've been there, we've done that. It's a little bit burnt out, but you can still do it and add your own sauce to it. So maybe throw on like a graphic hoodie or something that's a little bit more detailed for the hoodie. Maybe a more intricate cut leather jacket, maybe a moto jacket instead of a regular one. Like, there's things he could have did with the black silhouette to make this look better. If you're gonna wear an all black fit, like I feel like the subtle things matter. The photo doesn't look bad, but like there's ways that this could be a little bit better. If I grade out of 10, I'm going six. Yeah, I think like six or seven is like 
there. I don't know why. I just have like a weird thing where it's like there's nothing about the Tims that match the rest of the outfit. Like I feel like Tims are just like a oh they go with everything, and I just don't know if that's always the case. I don't mind the fit. Like overall, I think it's like it's good. It's, it's solid. I feel like a baggier denim would have set this off. Yeah, like, even just a little bit. Because yeah. like I said, it's just kind of gripping on the Tims weird. <laughs> Bro, that sounds crazy. <laughs> can we get a pause after that? <laughs> what do you mean? All right, boo. If I can rate this out of 10, I'm going 5. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Gonna, yeah. 6. 5, 6. I, was 5. Say, I was like, I thought you would go higher. I was like, I, was I just like, don't like the jeans. Yeah, I'll, I'll say 6. The Tims make more sense in this outfit, in my opinion. I like this one a little bit more. Not the biggest fan of like the distressing on the jeans. Um, yeah, that's real. The distressing is weird. It's oddly, it looks like he did it himself. They look a little cheap because of it, honestly. Like, I don't, don't want to like be that guy. Like, I feel like it's kind of a, a shitty thing to say, but like, I feel like it makes them look a little he definitely put those holes in himself i like the way that blue flannel's hitting on the tims though i like the like, flannel yeah. i like the the fit of the jeans i like that you're wearing white jeans like i like that switch up i'd say this one's like a six and a half mm, i don't like the jeans the more i look at them the more <laughs> i look at this picture the less i like it I'm gonna it's go just six. the distressing yeah it's yeah. like mostly just the distressing i'm gonna but, go six yeah so my dog p shout out to you if you're watching this video he actually submitted a fit as well damn he's wearing hella layers to me a cap a trench coat, a button up, a crop tee, a western belt, some shorts with trousers underneath the shorts, and some loafers. Toga loafers. Cook. I respect this outfit more than like most of the ones that we've looked at. I don't know if I'm like in love with it, but I still think like everything considered i'd give it like a seven seven and a half i'm co-signing that it's a very creative fit i've definitely feel like bro you could have definitely set this off if the fit pick was much better like this is a pretty true this is a bad fit pick. yeah it's kind of far out i feel like the location doesn't really match the fit yeah like if you would have made the lifestyle a little bit more cohesive with this fit it would have probably been like a 9.5 to me i respect it but i think i'm more at like a six to be honest I'll maybe add a little bit more jewelry for like necklaces the rings are cool maybe even like a carabiner i hate to be that guy it just <laughs> looks like there's like a lot it's, there's a lot going on, but there's a lot missing. Yeah, Does that make sense? It, it's almost like there's just like a little too much going on and like And we get a little bit of stomach action if you zoom <laughs> in. The crop's crazy. We can see a belly button game. The belt is a little huge. I will say that. Like it, it feels like the belt is really big for his Alright, we're nitpicking now. Yeah, like, no, the uh, more we look at it, we're yeah, nitpicking. We're going, I'm going we're going to yeah, I I'm, I'm I'll, I'll match that. The longer we do this, the more fits that we rate, the more they all look the fucking same. I like the denim. It's giving Balenciaga lost tape flares. I don't hate the jeans, but it's like when you do the all black again, like you have to start like thinking about like how the blacks like play off each other. And I think the from the back, I feel like it looks better, but from the front, there's like more wash to it. Yeah. And so it looks like a little bit off to me, but. And can we acknowledge that jacket too? This skull on the back is kind of crazy. Like, I feel it like, looks sick. Yeah, I don't think anything is like necessarily wrong with the outfit. It just looks kind of similar to a lot of the other. Um, I don't have much to say about this, bro. I'm gonna give you a five. Yeah, I'll give you a six. I don't know. Just, <laughs> just trying to, just trying to keep the spirits up, you know. Oh, this is funny. Bro, this is funny as fuck. Every time I see you pull it up, it looks like a black screen, and then you have to fucking zoom in and turn the brightness up. <laughs> is it a Rick Puffer or is it a different one? Cause I had one from the brand Random Identities. Yep, yeah, Random Identities. Wait, I was gonna say, you still have it? No, I got oh, it. Yeah, yeah. I was on that me. shit like three years ago. Yeah, no, it's actually a good one. It was, it was a nice, yo, nice jacket. So I don't mean to cut you off, but this fit is slick crazy. The more I look at it. He go random identities on a puffer. It's giving Rick, but you know what I'm saying? We go random identities. Duh, do you work on it? And then for the cargos? Yeah, the tire studios or some shit. No, they're diesel. Oh, okay. These are slick crazy. Yeah. And it got like a zipper to flare them out. You got some heel drag on there. What's the shoes? It, it gives like A6 Rav. or something. Like, Rav Simmons yeah, shoes. Yeah. This might be the best fit. I ain't gonna lie. This might be the best fit for the guys. Yeah, it's good. I mean, there's nothing like crazy about it. You know what I mean? It's like Mark, jacket. Come on, bro. Okay, no, think about it. Prop jacket. No. Is it dead? It's about to die. Should I switch to the phone? How much time we got left? Is it still going right now? Yeah. It's a crop jacket. It's baggy pants. Shoes. So we have the genuine hoodie, which is genuinely pretty stupid. The Hello Kitty beanie. Uh, we have the real tree pants that uh, I don't too know if, short. Yeah, I don't know if it's because you're sitting or if they're just actually that short. Um, but they're looking a little crazy. <laughs> we got the silly little headphone belt, which we were just discussing. Yeah. And then we have sambas or something yeah, similar. Those aren't to. even sambas. Yeah. Too. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot going on with this fit that's just dead wrong. <laughs> the Hello Kitty hat yeah. is crazy. <laughs> the hoodie could be cool. I feel like the hoodie and ca real tree camo looks good, but it's just the, the size and the proportions is terrible. Like it's it's bad. On a positive note, I think the color scheme is good. I think, yeah, like, that's the navy, all. I was, yeah. The pink, the green, like it, the colors are good. Now I don't know about the Hello Kitty because at the end of the day, yeah, the colors may be good, but we gotta also start thinking about what's actually on the the design. Like, I honestly the think. 
genuine. Mesh. I think genuine across the chest is actually like cringier than the Hello Kitty beanie. <laughs> really? <laughs> to be honest, the Hello Kitty one, I could be like, oh, you're, you know, you're being a little silly, you're being a little ironic, but the genuine hoodie is just like, just kind of cringe. I feel like if he's gonna go Hello Kitty, it just has to collide with everything else to make it make sense. I don't know, I'm not rocking with this fit. Honestly, <laughs> lose the belt thing and make the pants a little bit longer, and I feel like it's already a little bit better. But yeah, make I'm them baggy or two. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a five, and that's kind of. I don't nice. know if I can give. <laughs> that's crazy. And we that's don't see some real nice. fives. This is a. This fit's not good. This is a three. This is what we call rating fatigue. You know, you get towards the end of the video and everything starts to be like the same number. Like that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Next up, we got my boy Wes Hunter, man. Oh, you know this guy? I swear to God, I feel like this is literally just one of Sleazy's fits. Like I think just like cut and dry. This is one of like I swear this is on Sleazy's I IG right yeah, now. I can see where it's coming from more. So like just the aura, how yeah, Sleazy sorta. Of, I guess it could. It is a little bit of Sleazy inspired, but if you're not inspiring folks, then what you doing it for? So I do feel like it's a good fit. This is probably one of my favorite fits because I am tapped with all the content that he posts and he does snap like this is i can say this is a top tier fit from him now bro i'm gonna give it 8.5 Fuck it, I'm giving him a nine. I just feel oh, like bro. there's nothing necessarily original about this fit. Not even just with Sleazy. I feel like I've just seen this outfit like so many times at this point that it just doesn't really, I don't know. Like it's not like a shit fit. It's, like that's not what I'm saying, but like, like it just does nothing for me at this point. You know what I mean? Like I'm kind of just like. I feel like even with the fit pick in consideration too, like the location, the colors bounce off well. But this is it's a, a good, good ass It's a good photo. Yeah, yeah, it's a good photo. This is a good, yeah. I this think, slick viral. Like this gives viral virality. I mean, yeah, because it's a fucking cut and, cut and paste to uh, like what's, what's currently. Yeah. Yeah. Trending, you know what I'm saying? I would say it's like six, six and a half. So you think the dude with the Doc Martens in the Supreme is that was better than this? That's I cap, think, Mark. I think I think the Supreme and Doc Martin is just a slightly less trendy version of this, to be honest. Like this is just a trendier, like more updated version of the same fit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that one was feeling more like Maybe 2018, 2019, and this one's feeling like 2023. Ferragamo belt, so I ain't gonna lie, right? If you watching this, bro, we go Ferragamo in 2024. That's how you coming? <laughs> it, it just started, bro. It's January, bro. We four days into January, so we gotta <laughs> lock in. Ferragamo's crazy. I don't know. Like, I feel like if I'm walking into, like, Town Center Mall, like, this is what I'm gonna see right now. I don't know. This fit gives, like, reeks of Dior Sauvage type of thing. Like, I don't know. Macy's cologne. I fought with you, game, bro. I don't, yeah. I don't know this guy. This is your friend. I'm gonna go for The glasses is crazy. <laughs> Man, I mean, I guess in fairness, he's just trying on the glasses, but yeah. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah, that's real, that's real, that's real. Go, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do four, that's, that's fine. He go uh, non-couture, I believe that's how you say it. Shout out to my boy Naeem. He go Naeem's brand, non-couture house on a beanie, I believe so. The power of women, a backpack as an accessory, Apple Watch, and then Yeezy boot, Desert Rock. I don't even want to give this one too much time. Like, it's just like, <laughs> there's nothing to really like make fun of about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. nothing to really like bad in that way, but it's also not good. Like, there's nothing I want to like, highlight like it's just i don't know there's really not too much going on with this fit it's very basic like this gives like you just got into streetwear fashion and it's give it a five i think i could rock out with a five Mm, I wanna, I was leaning more towards four, but it's not a bad <laughs> fit. And the fit pick, I'm gonna give you a, nah, actually, I'm gonna give you a six, twin. The fit pick isn't bad. Damn, bro, went from a four to a six. <laughs> nah, because I'm also taking into consideration, excuse me, the photo. The yeah, photo's like, not bad. It's, a, you know, it's a decent angle and it's, you know, centered and, you know, yeah. well lit. So. so, yeah, I'm gonna give you a six, game. The hoodie just fits weird. Like, it's so cropped, but then it's, like, also kind of, like, hugging at his, and the shirt underneath is, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't like it. If the hoodie was just a little bit longer as far as, like, the crop goes, like, probably, like, either right at the belt line or just a tad bit above, it'll be much better. But it's not a bad fit. Either the shirt needs to be shorter, the jeans need to be, like, Nothing needs to be shorter. Like, Nothing needs know. to be shorter. Too. I'm saying, like, the t-shirt. Like, if it's not the jacket being longer, it's the t-shirt that needs to be shorter because it's, like, too big of a... A gap. Yeah. yeah. It's a, eh, it's just a little... At this point, I'm just, like, saying that he needs an all-new fit. So, I'm going to give it a five. If Yachty was to wear this, niggas would be like, bro, he's best dressed. Yeah. Yachty yeah, could wear fucking underwear on his head and motherfucking <laughs> copy him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people are so hyper fixated on just idols, false idols. Yeah. yeah. Like, just, I'm not saying Lil Yachty is, you know, like, I'll give credit where it's deserved, but Jesus Christ, like, that man could put on garbage and people would wear it too. I'm going to give this fit a. I'm sick of writing. <laughs> I'm going to give this fit. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, actually, I'm going to give you a 5.5. Oh, my. <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is Quan Swag with like a little bit of opium. Like he, nigga like this. Small little opium added to the Quan Swag. Like what? 
provoked you to put the fucking banana on your head is what I'm wondering. Like, what part of <laughs> what part of the rest of the fit makes you think I should put a fucking banana on my head? The puffer kind of tough though. I don't love the text underneath here. I think like it looks kind of busy. Like, I feel yeah. like it would have been better. Like, pants don't look good with the shoes because they're just like a little too skinny in my opinion. And then like the banana is just absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga stuck that side with a banana <laughs> on his head. He's psyched out for that. The more I look at it though, it's kind of cool. If he was to take off the banana and maybe put on like a regular beanie or even have a black banana. Like a like a black or all Rotten black banana, ba fucking uh. like a slick or all black banana with gray stripes instead would slick be hard. And if he was to crop the button up, crop the button up and get it to stop either at the belt line or just right below the puffer, this would slick be a solid fit. And maybe have a black. No, he should have went black. Everything should have been all black. First things first, just take the fucking banana off your head. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll start there. The yellow banana doesn't make much sense. No banana. I'm giving this fit a five. Banana. We're giving it a three. No banana. Five with the banana. <laughs> With the banana, I'm giving you a two, gang. The banana just doesn't make sense. Like, I just feel like, yeah, I'm going to give you a two, gang. I ain't going to lie. The banana doesn't make much sense. Now, if it was an Andy Warhol banana, I'm going to give you a two, gang.